All right, in less than an hour, Atlanta police are kicking off an initiative targeting violence here in our city. One they say helped decrease homicides by nearly 30% last summer. 11 Lives Bali Oak walks us through APD's Operation Heat Wave and a strong warning they have for parents. This is just one example of the violence police say is plaguing our city, a homicide last month. Uh, we're going to hold everyone responsible uh, with these uh, violent acts. Uh, and because, again, this is not Atlanta. Tonight, Atlanta police are kicking off Operation Heat Wave in hopes of decreasing violent crimes in the city. Police are partnering with state and federal partners and targeting areas they say historically have a high number of weapon offenses. We essentially wanted to give our officers the best opportunity to encounter guns. Police say the 16-week operation was a success last summer with a 29% decrease in homicides and a 26% decrease in people shot. This year, wake up here and pay attention. Police have a message for parents. Do administrative checks of these bedrooms. A lot of our firearms uh, related incidents, we know that there have been guns uh, located at home. APD says they're finding way too many kids with guns. Go into those rooms, take off the doors if you have to, uh, but know where your kids are, know what they're doing. Check their social media accounts. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation says social media is just one way gangs are recruiting kids in the state and in Atlanta. It says gangs get creative, using family-friendly events like basketball tournaments and barbecues to attract kids. The GBI is partnering not only with Atlanta police, but also City of South Fulton Police on its summer initiative, focusing on gang suppression and education. APD says it knows Operation Heat Wave can be successful, but it needs parents' help. So we really just need our parents engaged uh, and locked in as to what is going on at home uh, because this is the only warning that we're going to administer here. In Atlanta, Molly Oak, 11 Alive News.